Hey guys, and welcome to another of our educational videos. We're going to be talking about another variation of PP and PPKs. Now, if you've been watching, I actually call it a book, a video book, but on YouTube, they call it a playlist. I'm going to have about 30 or more chapters uh, just going over all of the variations. Also, there'll be a summary sheet for each chapter. Uh, today, if you look at our summary sheet, you're going to see that we're going to be talking about DRP marked PPKs. They only came in PPK. There are no DRP PPs. There's only two variations. That makes this video a lot easier. So this will be a quickie. First of all, DRP stands for Deutsches German Reichs Postal. DRP, Deutsches Reichs Postal or Postal Inspector. Now, I'd like to tell you that the, they gave these out to mail carriers to shoot the dogs that chased them, but that would not be true, nor would it be humane. So they did not use these to shoot dogs. But in fact, just like we have today, um, I was just telling Randy that uh, early on in our legacy career, we lost a package because it, it contained guns. Uh, they sent a postal inspector here and he was carrying a Glock. So our postal inspectors do carry guns when they think it's necessary. And I'm sure in the German Republic, uh, they, they had postal inspectors uh, who carried guns. Now, there's not very many of these made. I'm estimating there's only about a thousand of these that were ever made. It's real simple. Variation one has the period at the end of the DRP. And this is a, a solid block. Variation one is found from serial number about 905 to 918. Um, so there's a, a, a solid range there. Now you might say, well, that's more than a thousand numbers, but bear in mind when they made the PPs and PPKs, there was overlap in the serial numbers. So in that range, there's PPs and PPKs, but there's a solid block of PPKs that were DRP made with the period. The DRP without the period came a little bit later. And these are all in about the 1935-1936 era. So Hitler has come to power, uh, but uh, the, the German economy is just ramping up. He's making a lot of changes. They're not at war yet. And actually, their eco economy is beginning to boom. So it was during that time period that they issued these guns to the Postal Service. Again, there's, all, there's only about 45 of these known. There's about 35 of the earlier variation known probably only a thousand that were ever made. So they're a, a pretty rare gun. These guns were also issued with holsters and I have one here. Now there's something interesting about this holster. We'll see if any of you guys can guess it. First of all, they were all Aka made holsters. Uh, you can see the Aka marked. And then they would have an ink stamp inside that said DRP and then an abbreviation of the town. I've seen different towns, but they all are ink stamped DRP. I've seen them in brown and I've seen them in black. Very hard to find. Actually, the holsters are harder to find than the gun because obviously the holsters don't hold up as well. But anything that you notice about this holster that seems odd, here's a clue. Every one of the holsters I've ever seen is a PP holster. So, um, what we have to conclude, again, I talked to other collectors, we do a lot of forensics things, like uh, wh why did that happen? I've never talked to a guy who actually worked in the factory, but the story that I heard is they ordered PPK holsters, and the Aka factory mistakenly sent a thousand of them. They sent the, the wrong holster, they sent the PP. But rather than throwing them away, they said, oh, no big deal, we'll just keep it. Now, the, the PP holster is about an inch longer, and this clearly is a PP holster with a PPK. And the reason I say that with uh, a, good, a good amount of confidence is I've, I've seen probably six or seven uh, original DRP holsters. Every one of them was PP. And I, I just had a guy call me. This would made me think of doing the video. A, a collector friend called me and said, hey, I got a DRP and it's, it comes with a DRP holster. The only problem is it comes in, in a PP. Is, is that possible? Uh, entirely possible. In fact, I'd say it should come in a PP holster. So, interesting, the Germans did make mistakes. Now, because these come in a solid block, I would just want to go over one other uh, piece of information that is important for you collectors. You'll notice the DRP is blued over, which means these were marked in the factory before they were blued. If they are engraved, these are also stamped in there, if they're engraved on top of the uh, blue, that means somebody's trying to fake the marking. It's not that hard if you look at the marking. It's pretty simple. Uh, any engraver could make that pretty easily. So it should be stamped, not engraved. It should be under the finish, not over the finish. 
And one thing that's confusing, a lot of collectors like to put that little uh, white wax pencil in there to uh, accentuate the marking. So when that white stuff is in there, you can't see whether or not it's blued over. Um, so I often will take a, a little toothbrush with some oil on it, get the little white stuff out just to make sure it's real. Um, and another caution would be, I, I got a DRP in the 709 range. Well, we already know that they all came in the 900,000 range or a solid block. One in the 709 range, is that possible? I think not. Um, I would never tell somebody, yeah, your, your gun is definitely fake, unless I knew it was definitely fake. But if the marking looks good and it's out of the range, I personally avoid it. Now, if I tell you the range goes from uh, 955.8 and you find one that's 955.9, that doesn't mean it's necessarily fake. It just means we might need to extend the, the range. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we'd love to hear your serial numbers. We're trying to gather the largest database on, this, uh, on these guns. All the records from the factory were destroyed, but we can create... Um, as much as possible so we can give you accurate information. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay in touch. Hey, check it out. Push the subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey, check this out. Push the subscribe if you want to be notified about our videos or pick one of these re recommended videos.